Now, not yet, is the debut album from Half Alive, who joined us here at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco. Gentlemen. Hey, hello. what's up? Now? Shalom. Not yet. Not yet. Well. Sure. It's a fascinating title. I'm sorry I said it that way. I'm sure a bazillion people have <laughs> done comma, it too, right? The comma is, is uh, confusing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brett, Josh, and Jay, thank you for your time. There's a lot of connections with San Francisco. You guys have played a lot of shows here. <laughs> and then the day the album came out, you were playing Outside Lands. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's obviously something you'll always remember. Do you, well, do you remember anything specific? You know, album comes out and then doing any type of celebration or anything like that? I remember staying up very late to try to to make a video that was like a look back, a really quick look back of every music video that we've made up until that point and like compiling into like the album's here, it's finally ready. And I was up late with our um, content guy. We were like going back and forth on how to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I went to bed and I was like, ah, it's done. <laughs> oh, that was it. And then we woke up and did the show. Brett and I were sharing a hotel room that night. Yeah, we had a bit of a like <coughs> uh, reflective moment, just kind of like put it on and listen to it. Um, yeah. It was a bunk. It was like a bunk bed. Too, yeah, so it was like a vibe. <laughs> right. It was. <laughs> it was a really interesting hotel room. Yeah, so we kind of uh, like processed it being released. It was nice. Yeah. The record label put you up in a bunk bed. No, it was a nice hotel. It was, it was like was a just, really. <laughs> it's like a it's San Francisco. It was like a hotel that basically said like, all right, anything that normal hotels do, we're not gonna do any of it. It's yeah. gonna be totally different. And it was nice, but yeah. we were listening to. Yeah, the album in that situation. I was thinking yeah, two yeah. different things. Like, a, the record label was trying to be a little like, frugal, <laughs> right? Or right. b, you know, half alive is really that tight, right? <laughs> where Brett and Jay are just like, nope, we got to be in bunk beds. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, did you grow up with brothers or anything like that? Siblings where you yeah, had bunk beds? I did. So this is no <laughs> different. And he was at Outside Lands. My brother was at Outside. Oh, Lands. really? Yeah. 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 So you know I, him? But you did, did you, did you meet him? Yeah. No, you didn't meet him. No, I no didn't. you didn't. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, so me and my brother grew up and we had bunk beds. And stuff <laughs> and, um, so now you're a grown up. Yeah. You're a married man. Uh, yeah, yeah, and on the day of the album, yeah, he, uh, he came to Outside Lands. It was really nice. But then on that same day, me and Jay were listening to the album right. released with the bunk beds. Right. So never really caught that parallel until right now. But, <laughs> um, and now you're in a bus yeah. with three yeah. layers of yes. bunk beds. <laughs> yes. It sounds like this is your destiny there, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> if you have kids, will you force the bunk beds on them as well? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just cycling through like infinite amount of jokes right now. Congrats on the album. It's been thank out for some you. time. Appreciate it. And Thanks, obviously Pete. a lot of people gravitated toward the songs that they heard already that were released and then some that were uh, exposed after the album release. Any particular that surprised you with the reaction in terms of, all right, we released Runaway, we released this and that, and then, oh, this wasn't out already and now people are going bananas? I think the first time we played Ice Cold in San Diego, it popped off. Like yeah. it was like so. People we were like, "Can you can you dance with us?" In the middle of it, and they erupted. And it was. I think that was a crazy moment of it not being released, and just people seemed to resonate. Do you, yeah. How much do you think Kimbra has uh, a role in bringing fans to you guys, and in particular, Ice Cold? I think she has her own like unique fan base that maybe has some crossover, but not a lot. And so, it was a cool matchup for sure. And I think maybe some of our fans got introduced to her. And some of her fans got introduced to us so i think for us it was i know there's strategy of like partnering with a certain artist for certain reasons to help grow as an artist but i think for us with this first album we just wanted to work with people we kind of looked up to and saw that were incredible creators in their own way and for kimbra i think it was just like to get her on our song was so special to us and how she did it was so incredible and we're so stoked on it and that enough I think is all we were looking for so I, I'm not sure how much more there was than that but I think it made the song what we needed it to be so mm. so happy with it yeah. And, yeah I mean obviously you guys are fans of Kimbra any yeah. visual aspect that you really admire uh, of her work because I've seen her shows I've seen yeah. video, videos obviously as well and it's yeah. just incredible like it she's really there is. she's got the background musicians but then the light show and the visuals in the background mm. are just stunning yeah I've, I've seen her a few times I think her outfits are ones that stand out to me a lot. She always has very, very cool outfits for her reimagined stripped down show or her more 
full production show. I think they're always like very particular to her. So I've admired that when I think of something um, in her performance. It feels so unique and so weird, and that's like a great way of describing. I feel like her as an artist. Josh, when you sought out Brett, in a way because you guys are already friends, but mm -hmm. when you're thinking, all right, Brett would be good for this and Jay would be good for this, what, what were the, the unique things or specific things that you were looking for? Yeah, that's a great question. I think when Brett and I were writing, even just like the natural sort of back and forth of um, like our writing style seemed to cope well with each other. Um, and he just like crushes it on the drums. So I think that was like, those two things were really strong in uh, in starting off like the band and him being a multi instrumentalist and like in my in my previous band I always felt like um, even with no like music school experience I was like the most uh, educated with like chords and stuff and now I am clearly the underdog and I love that I love that I can really rely on Brett and Jay for. Um, yeah, for finding very interesting chord progressions and um, musical knowledge beyond my expertise, which creates more connection. You know, we're not far from a full-on hologram <laughs> home experience. Yeah. There are these hologram tours and what have you of people that are no longer with us. Right. Would that interest you? Well, While you're alive? <laughs> of somebody that's not alive? No, just as half alive. Or just us, holograms, yeah. Yeah. watching. <laughs> no, watching as, as, show. no, bringing the hologram experience to your show. Like, you're if we, there. If we can slowly just get off stage without anybody noticing <laughs> and just go home yeah. and the <laughs> show continues on, that and would the be... the holograms a, do the meet and greet. That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Holograms in the yeah. bunk beds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Whoa. That could no, be I, just, I, I was just thinking about that because... There's a bunch of hologram tours with, you know, the dead artists, right? Totally. And it's so realistic. I mean, it's no, not out of the imagination yeah. to say, all right, you're already bringing so many right. theatrics to your live shows. Yeah. Who's to say you can't have some hologram dancers and... Right. That right. would be... Yeah, that could that'd be really interesting. We yeah. haven't specifically talked on it yet, but I don't think it's out of the realm of consideration. Right. <laughs> maybe next right. month? Yeah. yeah. I want to plant the seed. Yeah. yeah appreciate next that. Next LA show, yeah. maybe? Well, congrats on all the success so far and really excited for what Thanks, you have Pete. in store tonight. Yeah. And, uh, can't wait for the show. Thank you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. It's uh, Half Alive. Now, not yet, their debut album. You're watching B-Sides On Air. <laughs> 